it was very easy for south africa to say that united states is its larger trading partner so it will side with united states but instead south africa has shown courage to balance its relationship between russia and united states and that is a sign of a mature emerging economy because if we go by cold logic and commercial interests south africa should have dumped russia by now and would have become a vassal state of united states like many other countries in the world but south africa has not chosen that path soviet union supported african national congress in the liberation movement to fight against the apartheid hence south africa and russia enjoy relations which are beyond just commercial in nature because if you just look at cold logic and money united states has much more leverage than russia with south africa russia and south africa have a trade of just around 1 billion dollars whereas south africa and united states have a trade of around 20 billion dollars that is 20 times more trade than russia United States seems to be angry with South Africa. It started with the military exercise between Russia, China and South Africa earlier this year and then the Russian foreign minister Sergey Lavrov's visit to South Africa also ruffled some feathers in Washington. On 11th of May Thursday, US ambassador to South Africa Ruben Brigetti accused South Africa of supplying arms to Russia in the month of December. He alleged that the Russian ship which was there at the Simons Naval Base in Cape Town was loaded with arms and ammunition by South Africa. The US ambassador claimed that he knew of certain eyewitnesses who saw the arms and ammunition being loaded to the Russian vessel. In fact, the US ambassador mentioned that I would bet my life on the accuracy on that assertion. That's how confident he was when he made this allegation. This was the same Russian vessel which was sanctioned by United States earlier for transporting arms and ammunition from different countries to Russia. Now the thing to note is that Associated Press independently verified that the vessel named Lady R did visit South Africa between 6th and 8th December as the US ambassador claimed. This sensational claim by the US ambassador has raised alarm in Washington. The US ambassador said that the arming of Russia was fundamentally unacceptable. So US wants to dictate terms to South Africa. South Africa now risks being sanctioned by United States, its second largest trading partner. Immediately South African president Cyril Ramaphosa went into damage control mode. He assured United States that already investigation had started on this much before US intelligence agencies and US ambassador alerted them about this. South African foreign ministry said that they were not aware of any trade deal between Russia and South Africa of any deliveries made to Russia from South Africa side. But it seems that countries like South Africa are also learning to play good cop and bad cop. from united states that's exactly what south africa has done while the president has played softball with united states in response to this the foreign ministry of south africa issued a demarche to the us ambassador and demarches are usually called as formal complaints within few days of this incident the commander of ground forces of south africa along with his lieutenant general visited moscow They mentioned that they discussed issues related to military cooperation, interaction aimed at the implementation of projects aimed at improving the combat readiness of the armed forces of both the countries. So they mentioned in a joint statement that the combat readiness of both the countries were being practiced or were being looked upon by South Africa and Russia in these meetings which were held in Moscow immediately within few days of this incident they also clarified that this visit was planned well in advance it didn't happen as a knee jerk reaction to this incident immediately on the next day of this incident south african president cyril ramphosa had a phone call with vladimir putin 
As per reports, the South African president reached out to Putin for this phone call. He immediately spoke to Vladimir Putin, and on that call, South African president reiterated his non-aligned position in the Russia-Ukraine conflict. They also di- discussed the possibility of African nations being part of the peace process or the peace proposal that can be floated in Ukraine. At the same time, Vladimir Putin assured South African president that he is willing to supply fertilizers to certain African countries at free of cost. South African foreign ministry played hardball. South African president reached out with olive branch to Vladimir Putin and United States at the same time. So South Africans are clearly learning to play good cop, bad cop with United States. Something that United States has done throughout its history. South Africa's second biggest trading partner is United States. South Africa exports around 15 to 16 billion dollars worth of material to United States. At the same time, South Africa imports just around 5 billion dollar worth of material from United States. In comparison, the trade between Russia and South Africa is minuscule. South Africa exports around 600 million dollars. South Africa imports around almost the same value from Russia. So clearly, there is a huge leverage that United States has when it compares to Russia with South Africa. You see, Russia may not have enough trade with South Africa for leverage, but China certainly has a lot of trade with South Africa. And since Russia is practically a very close ally of China, Russia will use this leverage of China with South Africa. In geopolitics, there are no friends. There are only business deals, they say. South Africa is balancing Russia and United States despite its disproportionate skew towards United States for its export revenue. United States is known to impose sanctions on countries which don't comply with its policies. Has South Africa crossed the red line of United States? Will United States sanction South Africa? Will United States punish South Africa for supplying arms to Russia? Or I would rather say allegedly supplying arms to Russia. Another thing to note is that South Africa is already under tremendous pressure from the West to arrest Vladimir Putin if and when he visits the BRIC summits which will be held in August later this year. Since South Africa is the member of International Criminal Court, it is obligated to arrest Vladimir Putin. Similar to countries like India, South Africa has taken a neutral stance in this Russia-Ukraine conflict. South Africa has abstained to vote against Russia in United Nations in condemning the Russian aggression. The West has been putting a lot of pressure on South Africa over the last few months, in fact, whole of last year, to condemn Russia. The South African opposition leaders are already cautioning the present-day South African government that they are now deviating from their foreign policy of non-alliance, or I would rather say, the foreign policy of United States. In politics, opposition political parties always try to leverage these issues. And the same is happening even in South Africa's domestic politics. With this kind of numbers, United States certainly can arm twist South Africa. But the thing to observe here is South Africa is treating Russia and US equally, still despite this trade imbalance. That proves the non-aligned nature of South Africa. South Africa is not a huge economy, it is a small economy, but geopolitically it is at the middle of the world map. Hence, the position that South Africa takes is very important for the African continent. It sets a precedent for other African countries. Hence, a lot of African countries would be watching South Africa about what it will do in the next few months in the BRICS summit. A new currency A BRICS currency, which will be pegged by gold or commodities, is expected to be announced later this year in the BRICS summit. Vladimir Putin is expected to attend that summit along with other BRICS nation leaders. 19 plus countries have expressed interest to join BRICS. 
and it is expected that many new countries will join BRICS in August this year. I'll be covering this BRICS event and what is happening within BRICS closely. South Africa certainly is walking a tight rope. This is Degree signing off from this video. Do like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll keep posting more videos. Stay tuned.